Hello all you lovely people. I'm Lisa with Living Life with Lisa and on this channel we talk about living life with uh, chronic illness. I personally have been diagnosed with early onset dementia and I have two copies of MTHFR which is a gene mutation and I am on my way to pick up my boys and it is the one day of spring that we're having. Yay! Um, it's been snowing last week. Today it got a, it's right now it's 70 degrees and tomorrow it's supposed to be 36. And so this is our one day for spring. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we'll get some more. It is only supposed to be like 40 on Sunday so I don't know when it's going to warm up again. But today is it and clouds are rolling in so it looks like 70 may be a correction 71 let's use every one we can get um, 71 degrees but I want to talk today about what I've noticed about fear and me um, I've talked about it I think before but I'm not sure that I have uh, but after I, my brain started changing I my whole life I've been afraid of um, and I mean when I talk when I say afraid I don't mean they bother me a little I mean panic fear to the willies to running around in circles not knowing what to do crazy fear phobia fear but I've always been afraid of tornadoes and I've always been afraid of mice <laughs> and I don't care if they're dead I'm, I'm not touching them I, live or dead I don't want them and snakes I'm scared to, scared death of snakes well, um, we live out in the country, and so um, snakes and mice are just a part of life. And I have a deal with my boys that um, we leave the snakes alone, <laughs> and that the um, any mice that get in the house, and um, so far we've only ever had them in the basement. Not wood and um, they're usually dead by the time they get there so they carry off them they pick up the mice and get rid of them and I take care of spiders because they're they have a spider phobia I'm not afraid of spiders and so I take care of all spiders and they take care of mice and so that's kind of been our situation ever since they were little I can remember um, <laughs> them being little and there was I don't even uh, well, I might as well tell you because I really don't have anything I was planning on telling you anyway. Um, we had a different van and I had had some kind of surgery and uh, it might have been when I had my, my neck, original neck surgery and I couldn't drive all winter. And so uh, different people came to help and the boys were, <laughs> were uh, rather small. That was in 2011 so they weren't let's see four uh, six and seven and so um, that winter uh, somebody had came and taken the boys to a ball game and had used my van because that was the only way she had to get the boys to, to the ball game because they had all the car seats in it and things and she came back she said I cleaned up your van and I said okay I mean I thought because it was messy I didn't have any idea that she meant that there was some mouse in it and so um, it turned out that there was some licorice in the glove compartment and a mouse had gotten in there and ate the licorice and also ate up my uh, car registration which would have been an issue if I'd been pulled over. Uh, so, um, anyway, so in the summer, after all that was over with, I decided I was cleaning that van out because um, it was freaking me out that that had ever been in there. And so I literally cleaned it out to where I took the seats out of the van and took everything out of the van and chimpered the carpets and vacuumed the carpets and all that stuff. Well, 
Um, something was down in where the seat goes, and I realized that it was a mouse, dead mouse, and I went screaming out of that van, and the kids were out playing in the front yard, and they came running over to see what I was screaming about, and so my six and seven year old got in there with a the pencil, got the mouse out, and went through it away in a field. Uh, so I got, um, got that mouse taken care of. So that's always kind of been our kind of our thing because um, I, I, I don't want it. I don't want any part of it. So what I've noticed though, since um, in the last few years, I'm trying to go pick up my kids and I'm going to be in the passing lane to go get over there. So, um, is that I'm not afraid of that stuff anymore. The mice don't scare me. Um, snakes, uh, snakes really don't scare me at all. In fact, uh, last year I followed one around because I was trying to get a picture of it because it was so pretty and it was running from me. It got away. Um, so the fears change and I haven't been afraid. You know, I acted not afraid ever since I had kids um, of storms and tornadoes because we have a basement so there's no reason to be afraid of tornadoes because we just get down in the basement but um i stopped being afraid of storms i stopped being afraid of tornadoes i stopped being afraid of snakes i stopped being afraid of mice <clears throat> and um what i am noticing today i have this real uneasy feeling and i couldn't figure out why because the sun was shining it was beautiful today and um uh, i just had this uneasy feeling and I come out and the sky's looking kind of eerie a little bit. Not too bad. I don't think it's going to be too awful tonight. But um, I'm uneasy. And that's, and it, this is the first time that I've been afraid in a long time. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, maybe that's a sign of improvement in a way. Um, because... Um, that part of the brain's working again. Um, or is it a coincidence and I'm nervous for some, anxious for some other reason and um, just think that it's because it's going to storm. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but I'm going to go with that it shows an improvement that that fear has returned. Uh, that the old me is still there a little bit more than I thought it was. Though it was kind of nice not having any fears because <laughs> you can't go through life like eh, everything's a okay um so that's kind of where I, what i was bringing this all around to is to talk about fears but a little story time stuck in there for a good measure and um i'm in line to pick up the boys and we're going to um the uh younger ones are still at the elementary so i'm gonna pick them up first and then i'm gonna go over to the high school and pick up my eighth grader, soon to be in high school kid, ugh. and the choir teacher wants to speak with me, and the choir teacher and I are, were very good friends, because I was band director for years, and she's a choir, and we team taught at the elementary, and so we're, we were very good friends when I was teaching, and so I know that <laughs> her her asking me to come in via my son um, doesn't have anything to do with him being in trouble. It's She just wants to know if I want to visit with her for a little bit. So um, I'm looking forward to that. So after I get them, I've got to figure out how to get in the part of the parking lot I'm not supposed to be in, which means I might have to stall, but I am way back in line. I'm probably a good half hour before I get to the front door. Um, I'll show you if I can turn this around. See, got the cars, they're all lined up down there. And the idea is to get over to, pardon the dirty windows, over there where the flag is. That's where they come out at. So, and I'm in this line, and I still got cars behind me. There. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try this again. There. Uh, so, anyway, um, it's Friday, and that's the easiest day of all because um, I'm going to do that uh, because um, we have pizza for dinner. I take um, 
my trombone player to his trombone lesson. Um, and then we stop and pick up pizza, take it home, everybody eats it. And then my kids have started a new tradition of going skating every Friday night for three hours. And I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it because um, I, um, you know, it's, it's a good deal for me. It's a uh, cheap babysitter and I get some quiet time at home when everybody's done. It's bedtime and we come home and I pick them up We come home. Everybody goes to bed and it's just, it's nice. It's, it's a little break in the week uh, for me, <laughs> three hours and three hours as some of you know, that care give three hours is sometimes a lot and so I'm liking this new tradition <laughs> so, uh, they're gonna go skating tonight and one spend the night with a friend and tomorrow's my birthday so I'm gonna have to get him back I haven't decided what time because we'll go out to eat at my favorite restaurant which means we'll have to go out of town uh, and we do that during the day because the town we have to go to, I refuse to drive in at night, but we won't go there. Um, but I, I like Olive Garden and I like uh, Red Lobster, but my favorite is Olive Garden. So I think I'm going to take them up to Olive Garden and um, we'll have Olive Garden tomorrow. I wanted to go to a movie, but there's nothing showing that I care to see. Uh, it's just kind of a blah weekend movie-wise. It's gonna rain tomorrow, and it, I'm gonna be 54 tomorrow, and seriously, I do not remember it ever raining on my birthday. <laughs> so, um, tomorrow will be the first. If it rains, it'll be the first time it's rained on my birthday. Um, so, anyway, with that being said, uh, as always, I want to wish you a great weekend. Have a wonderful day and live life to the fullest live life with no regrets and we'll talk to you later bye bye